and I look like Edward Cullen from Twilight right now. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, as you read by the title, I'm gonna be doing this whole look using products that are $10 or less. This is what I got at the end of it, and I am obsessed. But I'm gonna tell you all about the products, how much they cost, why I like them, and all of that in the video, so keep watching for that. And that's pretty much it. You guys are gonna see how to get this balm look using products that are $10 or less. You do not have to break bank to look good, guys. I'm telling you, follow my tips and tricks and it'll look amazing. Don't forget to follow me on my social media accounts, which I will have a link down below as well as somewhere up here just so you can follow. And don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe. Let's just jump right into the video, so let's go. I already did my brows off camera. Um, for that, I did cheat. I didn't use an eyebrow product that was under $10 just because I don't buy any eyebrow products. I only have one eyebrow product in my whole collection, and that's my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. It's the only thing that works for me that I really like. I've tried other dip brows at a drugstore, and I don't like them. Um, so that's the only thing that's not drugstore or under $10. Even though it's $18, it's, still not, it's not that much over $10, but, you know, I just wanted to put that out there. So, um, I already did my brows. I'm going to prime my eyelids using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. So, this is $6, um, and this is in the shade Light 20. Alright, so that is my base. I look really pale and dead right now because, I don't know, my skin has been going crazy ever since I moved to Texas and also I have not gotten any sun here at all um, and I look like Edward Cullen from Twilight right now because I'm so pale. I don't think I've ever been this pale in my life. So the only palette, I, I actually have a few, I just couldn't find them, but this is one of the only palettes I have that are under $10. This is the Makeup Revolution Reloaded Division Palette. I used this in my one brand makeup tutorial using Just Makeup Revolution. If you guys haven't seen that, I'll link it down below for you guys. It was really fun to do. So this is what it looks like. Um, like I said in that video, this palette reminds me a lot of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. Some of the it is really affordable, it's $7, and some of the shades on here aren't really that pigmented, um, just because, I mean, it's a very aff affordable product, but you can build it up a little, it's very light, so I'm going to go in with that today. I'm going to use this orange shade in the corner. Okay, so next I'm going to grab actually this mustard shade here. I didn't use this last time and I was sad because it's so pretty. So I'm going to use that one. Just um, a little bit under the shade we just put in. I just want to see what it looks like basically. Yeah, see this one is not that pigmented. Um... I mean, you can see it a little, but not really. Alright. So, should I add a shimmer? No, I'm not going to add a shimmer. I'm going to just kind of go, like, bare on the lid. So, I'm going to add, like, a white shade just to my lid. I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Mega Liner. This is the liquid eyeliner. So I'm just going to use that and then we'll fix the eyeshadow. Take a makeup wipe. So now that the eyeliner's on, it's gonna give us like a little guide, sort of. So I'm gonna go back in with that purple shade. I'm actually gonna go in with the darker one right here. Where is it, this one? And I'm gonna use this tiny Sigma blending brush. It's the E36. This one fits right in the crease. So it really adds definition if it's kind of lacking it. So I'm gonna just take a little bit of that on there. Dust it off. 
And then obviously you can add more, but that's a really good trick if if you want to deepen it, but you're kind of scared because sometimes you end up looking like a raccoon. That's a really good tip. So I'm just going to go finish this eye off camera, do the same exact thing, same exact products, and I'll be right back. So now that I finished my eyeshadow and my eyeliner on this eye, I'm going to go in with some mascara. So you guys probably guessed which mascara it is. I've used this in the past several videos. This is the Maybelline Last Sensational, but I'm just going to coat my lashes before applying falsies. And for lashes, I'm going to go in with my Queen Bee Lashes by Coco Lashes. These are OG. Like, if you guys have been doing makeup since, like, 2014, 13-ish, you'll know that these lashes were everything. Like, Lily Lashes who? Like, these lashes were it. Especially the style. And these are only $7.99. Um, so it's a really good deal for really dramatic lashes. So I'm just gonna coat this with my Kiss Lash Adhesive. Okay, so I think they're dry enough. But they are so pretty. I definitely have to order more because I don't have any cocoa lashes. That was my last pair. Um, my favorite styles are Queen Bee and Risqué and Goddess. Those are beautiful. I just finished eating, so I'm so happy. We're going to move into the skin now. So this is my favorite part because I really show you guys that you can have bomb skin under ten dollars the first product i'm going to use is the l'oreal infallible glow lock primer this is part of their infallible line which i'm really obsessed with i love the foundations and i really like this primer i'm just going to use this as my primer so So I really like it. It kind of reminds me of the Too Faced Hangover Primer. Um, it gives me the same effect, uh, but I really like it. I don't know if it really helps my makeup stay on longer, but it does make it glowy, even if I use a matte foundation on top, which is really what I'm looking for. So next to foundation, I'm going to use my all-time favorite drugstore foundation. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in the shade 107. I have tried them all and this one is my favorite by far um it gives me like really full coverage without feeling or looking cakey and what i like about it i just take it from right here and just dot it So once that's on, you're pretty done, much done with the foundation. Um, so that foundation is great. So the next product I'm going to use is the same one I use as my eyeshadow primer. That's the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Light 20. So this one is $6, like I said before. So it does a really good job at highlighting. It has great coverage. It's lightweight. It like stays on all day. I love it. And the finish isn't too like matte or dewy. It's kind of like right in the middle. All right, so next I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild Contour Stick. This is in the shade Call Me Maple to just bronze up. And then go in over it with your beauty sponge just to 
make it a little better. So for baking powder, we're going to use the Makeup Revolution Banana Baking Powder. So let, let, let that bake for a little bit, not too long. And I usually don't set my face, but since this is matte and it's the winter time, I definitely won't be setting my face just because it's gonna be too much. So moving on to bronzer, I'm gonna take my Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Bronzer. Um, this is in the shade Rock On World. So if you guys didn't see my tutorial using all Makeup Revolution, I used this and it was really nice. It just a little goes a long way. So I learned my lesson. So I'm just gonna dip in it two times. then of course I'm gonna go in with my Milani Luminoso blush if you guys don't know I'm not a fan of blushes um, I mean I like them but I just don't feel the need for multiple because it's like it's pink you know what I mean like how different can they be so I just use this one so for highlighter I'm going to use my Maybelline master chrome um, highlighter in the shade Molten Gold, so I love this one. There we go. Okay guys, so I'm kind of debating if I should do like a very like dramatic look with this because I want to add black to my lower lashes, but it's going to be kind of like glam, so I don't know if I should do that. I don't know if I've ever done that. I guess I'll do it, whatever. So this is the Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil. It's waterproof and it's in the shade Black Love. Um, so this one is only like two or three dollars and it's amazing. It's very long lasting. So I'm gonna do this. It's very hard for me to do. I don't think I'll be able to do it on camera because I really like to get in there. But I'm just gonna put that on my lower lash, like my waterline. Um, and then I'll show you how to like smudge it out and all that. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Um, I don't think I can show you guys so give me a minute right so now I look crazy and it kind of shrunk my eyes a little bit but not to worry because we're gonna fix that right now um, so before it really dries you want to like get into it so I'm gonna take the purple shade that I used on my crease so I'm gonna take that purple shade that we used on the crease and just smudge it out with this wet and wild brush So now that it's settled, that's what it should look like. It just looks a little more like um, smoked out rather than it just be a straight line. I smoked it out to make my eyes look a little bigger. Okay, so for lower lashes, I'm using that same mascara that we used on the top lashes. So that's what that should be looking like. And now I'm just going to go do my hair off camera and I will be back to finish with my lips and then we'll be all set. Okay guys, so we're almost done. So I'm taking this lip liner. This is the NYX Suede in the shade London, I'm pretty sure. No, Sandstorm, I'm sorry. So this one, the lip liners from NYX are very affordable. Um, I love them. Those are the only lip liners I use. So I'm just going to outline my lips a little bit. So next I'm going to take my, my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is part of their chocolate line from this and this is in the shade Sweet Tooth. So this is very nude. Um, if you guys don't like it this nude, I would suggest getting one, like a pinker one, but I love the nude. I 
and you can leave it like that but I'm gonna add a gloss on top and then I'm gonna take the Milani gloss this is in the shade Bare Secret and it's a gloss it's really nice it's not sticky or anything and it's like a nude gloss So this is pretty much it for the entire look. This is a full glam using products that are $10 or under and I love it. It looks so good. Just as if it was like high end. As I mentioned, I will leave all the products I use down below in the description as well as the price next to it with links to everything. Um, that way you can see. I'm going to link where the most affordable I found because like I said during the video, it's uh, it depends on where you go. Some places might have some things being a little over $10. It just depends. Or some will have it under. For example, Walmart and Target I know have it for cheaper than like CVS. So I will link where I find the most affordable ones, but I know for a fact all these products are under $10 when I bought them. So um, that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch you guys next time.